Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. This is, uh, I don't know what just happened to Moon over there. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I just punched my desk. Okay. Well, then, uh, welcome to podcasting is. <laughs> it's just a yep. bull in a china shop up here. Uh, I'm your host, Boston, and uh, joining me as always is Moon. Hello. And we're on our second week of We Rogue Like It. Nope. We're second week of Crypto the Necrodancer. There we go. Uh, on we We're on our thirteenth week of We Rogue Like yeah. It. Nope. Twelfth week. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, now I think you can get a good uh, indication of how this episode's gonna go. How long until our two week break again? God, yeah. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> only fifty more weeks. All right. Yeah. Uh I didn't realize in Necrodancer that you could go to the fifth zone right away, and I did. Wait, what? And that was a mistake. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I saw oh oh zone five is open. I was like, okay, cool. What is oh like okay, that's that was a mistake. That everything in here kills you. Okay. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm playing two different versions. I'm playing the PS4 version when I can mm -hmm. get to a place where I can listen on the TV. Uh, I'm also playing the Switch version. And mm -hmm. Switch version, I think, is like the complete edition. I, I don't know if the PS4 one is, but I know the Switch version has that, like, electrified update or whatever that was called. Um, okay. So that was Zone 5, where it's primarily focused around a lot of things are going to zip, zap, zip you, and I died very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't actually know if my thing's got zone five or not. Yeah. Um, I'm still banging my head against zone three at the moment. I'm still banging um, on zone two. <laughs> I did. I actually because I'm trying to keep kind of in track with you. Um, I did actually jump in and play a little, a couple of rounds in zone two. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, do I not like those that zone. Yeah, just. There's a lot of stuff in there that's really those shield skeletons. The white ones are fine. The, it's yellow, the green ones. Green ones. Those are okay. The black ones are the ones I really hate. Yep. And the fact that it starts introducing all the dragons in Zone Two God, as well. I hate the dragons so much. Like oh he, he's a red dragon. He's gonna fire a fireball across the entirety of the screen at you. Yeah. Like uh, the thing for me is. The fireball isn't what usually kills me with the dragons. It's usually trying to get my my pattern down to attack him and avoid him at the same time. And I, mm -hmm. I, I still half of the time I do okay. The other half of the time he just one shots me. Yeah, with me it's a mix of that and then getting distracted by other enemies at the same time. Yeah. So like those like, rolling um, armadillos. It's like please just I can't deal with you right now. Just go away. <laughs> yep. Oh, one of the skeletons approaches and he's like, no, I'm dealing with the dragon. I don't need you at the same time. Please, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah. Like, just let me kill him before he kills me. One of my most frustrating deaths happened this morning. I had a, a fairly solid run. I was doing a whip run. Um, I actually had an obsidian whip, so I was sort of tearing through one floor. Um, and I feel like I'm finally getting my rhythm down with the whip. And it, it mm -hmm. feels pretty good. But I started to fight a one of the red dragons, and I had sort of it was getting ready to shoot fire. So I skipped, I like moved up, and then one of those wizards did the wind spell and pulled me back down, and he one shot me with the fire. It's like, yep, cool, all right, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's such a nightmare. Like it's, mm, yeah, that's not. That's not great. Uh, honestly, th I think for me at this point, I'm probably going to go back and start removing things from the item pools in the shops. Because mm -hmm. when you're at the main lobby, the bottom, the south, southwest like the guy door. Yeah. Um, is a remove items from the pools for, right. the, st for the store. So like, I've got like a glass shovel that keeps showing up. <laughs> I, like, I don't want a glass shovel. <laughs> it's like it's one diamond to remove it from the pool, so I, I can do just one run, get the diamonds, and then remove that thing from the pool, mm -hmm. along with anything else. I feel like I just I, I'm gonna try to min max my run a little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep do probably do a couple of runs on floor one and two, because my problem is it's, it's like so many bad things are showing up in the store. I just want to get the best of the best in there. Yeah. 
Uh, so I'm going to try and juice the numbers a little bit for my for my own personal lands. Uh, but the other thing I need to I need to do desperately is like just just get the practice in against the specific types of monsters I'm looking for. Right. Because it's what it it is. It's one of those things. Like the dragons always get me, and like the stupid giant yeti on zone three always gets me because mm. he does a, an AOE attack and hits every square around him. Oh boy! And it's like okay, so you got to get the rhythm just right, but then at the same time you got the stupid bouncing blobs and everything else. It's like I know I could do this. I know if I just put the time in to do it, this is not a problem. I'm smart enough to figure my way around this. Yeah, figure out the flow chart. <clears throat> yeah. So. Just practice. That's all I need to do is just practice. Part of what I've been doing to practice, actually, because um, my problem, like we were talking about in Binding a Moon Pier, is damage avoidance. Um, yep. So I've actually been doing, every once in a while, I'll do like maybe a run or two of Zone 2. I'll sort of get a little tilted, and I'll think, okay, I'll do an all-zones run. Because um, I I like the, what's the, the thing is you have all your items unlocked. Uh, yep. But you only start with three hearts. Um, yep. So even early floors, <clears throat> you can't really screw around with, which is, is yeah, kind of a, fun, but kind of frustrating. It's a very good lesson, teacher. Um, one thing you should also do is when, you do, when you're on zone two, always go and attack those little green mushrooms in the corners in the star, yep. because sometimes they blow up. And when they do blow up, that's free money from all the wall that it's taken down. Yeah, the, the ones that have like the red spots on them are the ones that blow yep. up. Yep. That's yeah, I, I, one thing I'm surprised that I'm enjoying as much as I am is all the different weapon types. Like the, I used, I had a really good run where I had a solid rapier. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like, like with the whip and with the crossbows and with things like the rapiers, you have to, you have to change your rhythm up because especially with, the rapiers are going to do that that uh, sort of dash move every once in a while, um, and I I like that it makes you to take advantage of the weapon and take advantage of that as a tool. You have to sort of change how you move through the world, and I think that's I mean that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think the thorny ring it does something like that too, where when you kill an enemy, you take its space. Oh, right, yeah. So, like, <clears throat> instead of, like, hitting them and then there's coins there and, you know, you are still in the same space, when you kill someone, you move to the space they were in right? without losing any steps or any beats on it. So it's really easy to suddenly just do a dash chain, like, basically through a series of enemies. Right. Because it gives you, like, plus one damage as well. So even if you've got one, you're doing two damage now. And then you can just dash through a whole series of enemies. Like I think I killed six skeletons in a row doing that. I was oh, just wow. like, "Yep, that's great. That's a fantastic <laughs> moment. I'll never do it again." <laughs> yeah. It's like I wish someone was watching me because that was real cool. Uh huh. Uh, the only other thing I have in my notes <clears throat> from uh, earlier today is well, I I can now regularly get to two three, so zone two floor three, which feels real great. Like I feel like I was hoping I could make it to zone three and start practicing it this week but that that was a little bit ambitious um i killed a one of those um enemies that blocks the stairs i, I don't mini bosses i guess um yeah uh and out popped it said it was 96 coins uh a 96 gold and i was like this is great um as soon as i started going towards it a leprechaun jumped out and stole all my coins, and I couldn't kill it fast enough because it had five hearts. What? And, like, it zoomed off the screen with, like, a rainbow trail, and it was laughing at me. And I was just like, the, what, wait, what happened? And one of those things, I had two things I wanted to ask you about. One was, have you seen this thing? Nope. <laughs> okay. Was this on the Switch version by any chance? No, it was on the PS4 one. Definitely not. I have not seen that thing, so. Yeah. The other thing is, I got um, I got it on all zones run, so I haven't unlocked it um, on the normal stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, have you run into cursed heart containers yet? They're purple. Dude, don't think I have now. It's one of those things where I looked at the d item description in game, and it's like cursed hearts, and I was like, oh, okay, and I picked them up, and it just added it to the end of my 
He gave me like an extra purple heart container, and I st still sort of don't know what they did. <laughs> Maybe they're just the equivalent of spirit hearts? Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking, but um, I, I was sort of expecting there to be maybe some downside like it gets rid of all your hearts and then you have this one purple heart but um nothing seemed to really happen so i, I need to now i have two things to look up after we're done recording one is yeah uh leprechauns with question mark and then <laughs> <laughs> cursed heart container um but yeah man i still really really dig this game and i am i feel like i'm getting better but i'm still really not great at it and i think it's mm -hmm. all mental it's all like i just i gotta stop freaking out yeah i same it's like I, you know you could do better and then something happens you miss a beat and then your whole run goes to poop in like two seconds yep. flat and it's just like well great i i feel a little bit better because i just spent i think it was eight um diamonds in the shop to increase my coin multiplier so i mm -hmm. my base multiplier is two um that's before the i i get on the beat and kill enemies so i feel like that's might slow me down but getting to four is real good <laughs> yes it is um i i'm at the point where i'm pretty sure i've bought all of the permanent upgrades so the only thing i can buy is like new items for the for the chests and the shops oh, okay and new spells and stuff which is the northwest and northeast things in that room like the north one i've every time i go in there it's never worked like it just does not work hmm. yeah but yeah i'm still really enjoying this game and i'm glad i'm glad it's come up on the show because i've always needed this push to stick with it a little bit instead of getting to the zone one boss and being like this is hard and like yeah. uninstalling it <laughs> oh yeah yeah it got me back into it again so i'm happy with it so. yeah uh well that's our episode this week thank you so much everyone for listening and we'll see you all next week bye bye